Hey, what's going on? This is Nate with the hilltop. That is tiny. Today I'm gonna be falling um, some big trees. I didn't plan to, I wanted to leave it, but it just shades a lot of my apple trees out. And I'm, I was thinking about doing it in the winter, but I have to land it where I'm gonna be shaping beds in the rest of this video. Um, so I have to do it now before I shape those or it'll just destroy the beds. So I'm gonna do it, just get it over with and be done with it. And then the rest of this video, my goal is to just have all my beds created and everything planted. And I'm just gonna um, just do it, push myself until it's done and recover afterwards. It's a larger tree than I've ever fell. Well, I guess probably the second largest, but it's it wise. I've never done a why. So I'm a little intimidated. My plan is to kind of get up there on a ladder a little bit. I mean, not a lot, just a few steps and then make the notch above the Y. And then I'll start the back cut I'm going to get out the ladder and finish the back cut with my pole saw so that um, when it starts to go, I can just get out of dodge. That's basically my strategy when it comes to falling trees. I just cut and then run. Okay, um, I'm above average to satisfactorily satisfied with my notch. Uh, the only problem with it, it might be tugging a little bit towards my greenhouse, which would not be good. Uh, I have the girls out of the greenhouse way far away. By the time you see this video, they'll be gone. Time's crazy. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm gonna start the back cut with my saw, and then I'm gonna finish it with the, the pole saw so I can get out of dodge. both right where I wanted. The second one, a branch kind of grazed my pear tree, but it looks good. Looks like it looks like it survived. Those need to go. It's an awesome tree. I like that tree, but it just it's it shaded out all my all my apple trees in the afternoon. So she had to go. Okay, so a slight change of plans. Originally, I was just gonna cash myself out and have everything planted by Tuesday, bed shaped, planted, be done with it by Tuesday. I'm pushing that goal back to Friday um, because the last few days I've, I've picked um, some ticks off myself. And I'm seeing a lot of deer sign up here in my beds. I'm seeing them, they come up here off the field in the morning. I have two hay fields over yonder and a big corn field they go out to at night and in the morning they come off them so they're coming up my driveway and coming up to my garden they haven't eaten anything they just kind of walk up this way and then they see there's a fence so they turn around 
But anyway, uh, instead of shaping the beds, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish my fence and then shape the beds. I might have it done before Friday, but I just think I need to get the fence up anyway because you know, eventually in about a week, I probably will have something they'll be interested in eating. So I've been putting the fence off for a long time. I think it's time I get her up and be done with it. She's starting to rain a little. I think I can work through it. It's probably too much for you guys that are living in my camera. But I think it's supposed to be short. I didn't even know it was supposed to rain. So hopefully it's a short quicken. But I'm gonna keep working. Okay, she stopped. At least enough for y'all and the camera to come out and hang out. I've never claimed to be the greatest planner in the world. And my fence line, I thought I had enough room, but I don't, I have to move some compost. So I am gonna shape some beds because I don't wanna move the compost twice. I'm gonna shape some beds, move the compost, and then when I move enough, run the fence by it. My fence line is gonna be a little bit off. I tried about eight different times in the one spot to find a hole that wasn't a, there wasn't a rock and I, I couldn't find one. I got it down to about um, around three inches from where it needs to be. It's good enough, that's all I can get, I guess. Okay, so I have that up. I went with a four footer in front just cause I, I don't know, I think it looks better. I'm kind of regretting it now because, I don't know, maybe the deer will jump over it. I figured I didn't need as much protection in the front. We'll find out, I guess worst case scenario, I'll switch it out for six foot fence. It's only one, you know, so whatever. Um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I was gonna keep going and, and do a few more days into this video, but my camera broke. Um, so this is my backup and it doesn't have autofocus on video, it's just not meant for video, so I don't know if I'm in focus, where I'm at. So I gotta figure that out before, I, and then, I don't know. So thanks for hanging out, I, I appreciate it. Um, take it easy, be good. I'll cut you, I'll cut you around.